How did a 21-year-old environmental activist die in what was supposed to be a peaceful protest in Tarn, southwest France? Remy Fraise's body was discovered early on Sunday following hours of clashes between protesters and riot police. On Monday, a local prosecutor announced that the autopsy revealed the young man possibly died from an explosion. The coroner can neither confirm nor deny, on the basis of the marks on his body, that the wounds were caused by a stun grenade launched from where the police were entrenched. This is the disputed area, the site of a proposed dam that environmental protesters say will destroy biodiverse reservoir and benefit a small number of farmers. Anonymous demonstrators who were there say they saw Frez get hit. There were several flash grenade explosions. Then my friend fell to the floor. Apparently the grenade got stuck between his bag and his shoulder, at which point it exploded. In a statement, the police say they were attacked by a group of aggressive individuals armed with Molotov cocktails and explosives, a description that doesn't fit Remy Frez, according to his family. His father said the protester had attended with his girlfriend like a tourist. My son did not have a violent disposition. He cared about the environment. And at the same time, he was a determined person. So I think when he saw the violence starting, he possibly thought that he should get involved. Remy Fraser's family have decided to sue authorities for involuntary manslaughter. Well, the story is uh, getting a lot of coverage here in France. And just moments ago, French President François Hollande, he spoke on the matter. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. The first reaction is that of compassion. I called his father this morning to tell him that we stand with him. We have to completely respect the family at this time. Secondly, the government has to show the public that justice is being done and to find out the truth. The truth about what happened during this violent protest, the cause of the death, and this is something I will personally oversee. That was Francois Hollande 